Hello and welcome back to the Self-Actualization in the Age of Crisis chapter summary series. I'm your host, Ron Rivers, and today we're going to be talking about chapter two, subsection, cooperative individuality. Embracing cooperative individuality is in, in many ways really embracing our oneness with the relational universe, recognizing that all that surrounds us within a given moment is merely an extension of us, a greater wholeness that we are a part of. And that includes the systems that we're surrounded by, as well as the others that we interact with in those moments. Cooperation as an ethos is really rooted in love and trust. And to most fully embody it individually is a, a, really an act of, of extreme vulnerability, right? Which is difficult in a world where the primary form of relationship and cooperation is transaction, right? It puts us always at risk of, of being diminished in our interactions with others. And a lot of this really starts in childhood, right? So consider the child. We're born into this world where our parents are either going to view us as an independent agent or something to be obedient, right? Something to replicate their values and be obedient towards them, uh, independent of that individual's you know, own values and concerns of the world. We teach our children to avoid strangers while at the same time you know, foregoing or forgetting to teach them that the world is primarily filled with good people. We judge our youth in comparison to others, and that in turn, that judgment uh, really defines their access to resources and opportunities throughout their lifetime. Now, I want to emphasize, recording and tracking progress is not inherently wrong, um, but it does force all of our children into a very specific way of learning, which in turn really overlooks the fact that genius comes in many forms. So the, the kind of siloing of the individual, the child, into a very specific form of being and learning is inherently diminishing to them and their, their possibility, the latent infinity that they possess. The present educational frameworks that the vast majority of children grow up in today prioritize competition as a means of relationship over cooperation, which is in stark contrast to our knowledge of the single truth in the relational universe. Cooperative individuality begins with our embracing, our wholeness of embrace of the single truth in the relational universe, understanding that we are an inseparable part of this greater whole within a given moment. All of us share a, a commonality of having a myriad of hopes and fears and insecurities that you know, just come with the experience of being human. Now, of course, there's variance between us, right? There's different degrees and frequencies of the same humanity. Uh, and that kind of underlying theme, that, that collective oneness where we recognize that despite all of our differences and the different directions of our, you know, the growth of, of our event chains and, and birth lotteries, that we are still all one. And that's a very literal statement, right? It's not just some philosophical hoo-ha. It really is the material nature of being. It's important to emphasize that you know, before we're actually able to manifest and realize a, a network of cooperative systems that enhance our powers of collaboration, we have to first make the individual choice to trust proactively and deeply, to really embrace the other with the greatest of intention and expectation in mutual collaboration. In short, we embrace the best of others in order to bring out the best of ourselves. It's also important to recognize that the age of crisis draws heavily upon systems that prioritize mistrust, right, through transaction um, and the risk of diminishment. So cooperative individuality is, is really paramount to overcoming the crisis and self-actualization in the age of crisis. It's a, it's a new framework of being and understanding about who we are and what our relationship with the external really is and what that means for how we perceive and interact with it. The present arrangements will try perpetually to distract and diminish our, our relationships and our, our efforts to kind of form a more deeply cooperative individuality, but we cannot let it. Uh, Self-actualization in the age of crisis requires a much deeper commitment to a more cooperative individuality.